Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we know you hate reading, but it appears that behavior does not because not but a day after they released their 4.5.0 next steps, they have released bug fix patch 4.5.1. So just like before, we're going to read this for you because we know deep down inside, everybody hates to read. Uh, well, if you want to check us out live on Twitch, we do stream at twitch.tv slash parklist throughout the week and we'll answer almost any question that you have mostly about dead by daylight because we know way too much about this game but if you want to ask about life the universe and everything the answer is 42 so come by and um talk about that anyway with 4.5.1 bug fix patch that was released today here's the bug fixes uh that they have implemented they fixed an issue that caused survivors to be floating in the lobby i never once experienced that if you have some clips, uh, send them over. I want to see them because I never saw that happen. Fix an issue that caused various error messages to occur in a lobby or after a trial after specific conditions were met. Now that happened to me countless times this last week, so I'm glad they fixed that. Fix an issue that caused the Oris in the observer's hand to be missing when accessing the archives from the widget. Like six people probably noticed that. Fixed an issue that caused Meg's golden summer outfit icon to not appear. Fixed an issue where a spectator could sometimes lock in the spectator screen when entering in spectator mode while the survivor reaches the tally screen. Fixed an issue where unbreakable set could be broken. I'm sorry, if they're unbreakable, then they can't be broken just in the name, but they were broken. Uh, we saw a bunch of people do that. It was pretty funny. Uh, fixed an issue where some UI tech show incorrect characters in Thai language on Steam. Fix the opacity on Victor's incapacitated effect on the player status widget to be more visible. Now this is before the whole UI change, so it's a good thing they're making things more visible. And then when the UI change happens, hopefully it'll be exemplified that much more. Fixed a missing character in archive challenge text when the langu language is set to French. Fixed an issue where the audio is muted when spectating on other player. Fixed an issue where there was no SFX or sound effects on button prompts in the tutorials. Archive. Fixed glyph placement issues in Gideon Meat Plant, Sanctum of Wrath, The Pale Rose, Midwich Elementary School, and both asylums. Now, this may be one reason why they took down Asylum. Um, it doesn't seem to have any placement on Auto Haven. Uh, that was for other reasons. Fixed an issue where pips lost or gained in a custom match would be added to the pips lost or gained in the following public match. See, I never noticed these things because I almost never play Kill Your Friends. Um, so the people who still do and notice these things, I guess, awesome to you because uh, people could just cheese pips then but who would do that uh fixed various collision related issues in auto haven records and crotus friend asylum these maps have been re-enabled for those who didn't know they disabled those sets of maps those realms uh several days ago so the fact that they're back now is pretty nice on the ps5 only they fixed a crash when a trial starts after a player requests to join a party known issue is killers can't see their own charms on hooks so that really takes out the immersion, I guess. Those will be coming in fixes, hopefully in 452 or in the new chapter. Now, remember, the UI update will be coming in uh, either 452 or the chapter, as well as other things like Blight's FOV positioning, Legion's movement, that kind of stuff. So when those come out, we're going to let you know. Uh, if you like what you saw, you know, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, or you want to know when the next uh, hate reading video comes out, make sure you hit that sub button. Uh, it'll really help us out and it'll let you know when we have more information for you. So in until next time, if nobody told you already, we love you guys and stay safe out there in the fog.